What's up everybody out there on YouTube land? Bryce and Michael RC here and I have another 3D cosplay for you guys today. I must say that I apologize completely for not having one out Thursday. This one's out just a little bit later. Uh, but we were doing a lot of stuff the last couple days. Uh, and something ended up happening to the Darth Vader. That's the one that I was going to do next. And so I tried to fix it up real quick. Only made it worse. And thought that I could do it at least like a day late or something like that. Uh, and then I ended up getting what I think was heat stroke because I was working outside trying to get this pool set up and was just flat out too tired to yesterday and so what I did is a one day build just for you guys because I still didn't get the Darth Vader done enough to where I wanted to show you guys so I'm gonna move that to next week you can hear the 3d printer going right now I'm actually making something else for the week after that uh, but I did a one day build just because I knew I could do it I and I got this idea from if you guys remember the Stormbreaker video where I did the uh, the LED lights in, inside the Stormbreaker. And if you guys remember, whenever I was talking to you guys about this, uh, I said, you know what would be fun? To do a Tesseract using the, using the lights. And so you guys can see behind me, I have the Tesseract. The easiest cosplay I've ever done in my life. There's absolutely no process video to this because I'm gonna tell you everything right here in this video. This is the simplest thing I have ever done in my life. And up beside me, I'm going to be putting pictures while I'm talking about this the entire time. So let me show you guys the Tesseract first, and then I'll, I'll break it down and show you guys kind of how I did this. Here's the Tesseract here. It is a complete square. You can see the battery on the bottom there. But I can also turn it off. It doesn't have a switch or anything on it. It's meant to be held like this. Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out the size. In fact, I, I made one first right here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But to me, this wasn't the correct size, and there was also too much wrong with it. And so I went back in, and I remade it, and I couldn't be happier with this right here. It's so amazing. If you can see, it's got a... Uh, there we go. Let it adjust a little bit. It's got the fogginess on the inside. The... Uh, little spots and everything kind of like the Tesseract actually has and that was something I wanted to capture really bad and I'm gonna show you exactly how I captured that this has to be and I looked all through YouTube for different people who made the Tesseract and there's thousands of different ideas on how to do the Tesseract but nobody seemed to get that done right and I had plenty of ideas and the funny thing is is it wasn't until this one right here was complete that I realized how to do this right. So, there ain't much to show. It's just a square with uh, LEDs on the inside. Let me show you this real quick before I show you how it was made. It pops off just like that. And you can unplug the wire and battery. And then put it back together and you just have a box. Isn't that cool? So let's plug this back in and tell you guys how we got the Tesseract. How we got this. Yeah, we'll do this. One more quick look at it real quick just to show you all of its detail all the way around. I love this thing so much. So up here in the side, we're going to have pictures showing you guys kind of how we did this. The first thing that I did is I printed the first box. Now what I did is I went into Thingiverse and I found a Tesseract. Somebody had the Tesseract. But all it was is basically a cube. It's just a cube that you can print. And so I went into Mesh Mixer and I sliced off the end of the cube so it would have an open end and then just a small end that I could use kind of to glue together and I was planning on gluing this on and then putting a, an on and off switch kind of on the side to where you can hide it by holding it in your hand or putting it on something. That was kind of the plan behind it, but for some reason when I printed this off, the Anycubic put a top on each one of these and so I had like top, top and bottom and the sides of a little tiny one and then top and bottom. And so I, I had to go in with a Dremel and Dremel out this whole side here and this here. This ended up having an inlay. I did it at 1% so it just made an X across the middle which was really cool because I, I took, as you can see in the pictures over here, I took eight LEDs and I put two into each little triangle right in the middle. Glued them all in. 
and and then I ran the wires down, uh, cut the ends off, wired them together two at a time. So I'd wire them together two, and then turn that into one, two, turn it into one, and then I would take those two and wire them together until I got just two strands coming out of the end. It was very very simple to do once the super glue uh, dried, and then I added the the battery cord to it, soldered the battery cord to it, uh, and then kind of put it together. And I had the first test rack. It was super easy. But the problem with this one is with the inlay, you can see here that there's, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on this camera, but there's an X that goes right through here. And this might be easier to see. There's an X that goes right through there because of the inlay. So it's really not that great whenever you, the Tesseract this small having eight LEDs in this one makes it super bright but you can still see the darkness of the X on top and the X on bottom and I really didn't like that I also didn't like the fact that I didn't have any way to uh, put these together unless, unless I got an on and off switch and then uh, I was gonna have to glue it and then I figured there would be a line across that you could visibly see um, let me show you this real quick I found this is how you get the, the sh the coloring, all the fogginess and stuff going in it, you can see right there how there's fog across here and there. If you look on the inside, well this one's easier to see, this is all super glue residue. All that fog, it's super glue residue. And there it was on the inside up here and then all on the inside here and I thought to myself I got the fog and so then I took sandpaper and I went in circles on the outside just to get kind of like a circular look to it and it turned out looking pretty decent but not good enough for me so what I did is I went on Tinkercad anybody any of you ever heard of Tinkercad Tinkercad is a, a 3d um, model making splicer thing that you can get on and for beginner people who are just learning how to create things uh, with 3D models it gives you basic shapes, uh, lettering, there's all sorts of really cool stuff you can make really basic stuff you can take existing prints and put like your name on it and things like that it's a pretty cool little thing to go to I would suggest if you're getting into 3D printing go to tinkercad.com I'll put a link in the description um, and just go play around with it I went there and there's a there's an actual box it's a box with a top and a bottom that you can put together and so I went in and I, I created the box I put it in uh, I think it was 55 I think it's in millimeters I'm not hundred percent sure that's 50 I think it's 55 millimeters it's not centimeters but it's not inches and it's definitely not feet <laughs> it's 55 by 55 I did the bottom and then up to 45 and then the top one I only did 10 inches tall and then 55 and 55 uh, that way whenever you put them together it's perfect it, er, it's, it's like an inch off on one of them because I couldn't get some of them to set to 55 and so I set them at 56 or something like that or 66 or 46 I don't remember the exact numbers but the video is playing right here and it will probably show you uh, but all I did is I moved that over I put the top and the bottom right next to each other and then saved that off as an STL and printed that as a box and the cool thing that happened since I did that uh, there is no there is no X that you can see. See, you can see the battery through. There's no X on the top or the bottom. And it has this little lip right here in here that fits these two pieces together. And it's perfect. It's almost seamless because it's so bright. I mean, you can still see the seam, but not really. I used the clear Solutel PLA and I wanted it to, I wanted the LEDs to be able to be as pronounced as possible, so I set the uh, width of, of the walls to be at 1.2. Uh, so it's super thin. You can uh, move it around, it's super thin. And then what I did is I took this box, it was just a box, and I cut out uh, the infill for the, from the other box that had all the LEDs on it, and I stuck it in here. 
And then what I did is I was going to try to glue that in, but I decided not to. I went around the entire, all the walls with super glue, the super glue gel, and I ended up smearing the super glue all over the walls and all over the bottom so I could get that nice fog going on uh, with the super glue. So much more fog in this one than the other one. Uh, and it, it's not a dark fog. Like if you were to take some paint and put it on here, the LEDs would hit off the back of the paint and it would be more of a dark color here in the front. So this is a real light fog, almost like that clear foggy paper that you have. Uh, and that's all super glue. Just kind of painted the inside where the super glue is thicker, the fog is thicker, where the super glue is thinner. You can take a thick part and then put a little bit on the end of like a brush or something, a little bit of super glue. And then uh, even long after it's dried and then kind of just create a little spot over here and it'll be like the faintest little bit of fog uh, going on. Let me see if I can find one of those. Uh, but you just go in circles with it. Uh, I put spots of the super glue gel and then while I was going in I was just going in circles with it to give it that nice little uh, all over the place tie-dye kind of look. Uh, and then to hold the lights in I took some clear plastic. You get stuff wrapped up in plastic all the time. There's those uh, if you get stuff delivered to you like PLA. If you have Solotech PLA it comes wrapped in a clear plastic wrapping. Uh, I took a whole bunch of that and on all four sides I stuffed the and this shows you that you actually don't need to super glue the lights to anything. You can put just lights that are all soldered together in here. I, I put a small little bit of plastic crumpled up at the very top of it and then I put the lights in and then all around the lights I put clear plastic. Uh, you can see the picture up over here plus I'll just show you this all the clear plastic that's inside of here and now that clear plastic that's inside of here also picked up some of the fog and stuff all over it from the from the super glue in fact the uh, battery picked up some of that fog and the wires picked up that fog so it just fogged the whole inside of this at complete random uh, and that was actually a, a real big blessing in disguise so once I got all that plastic in so there was some super glue that was still wet you know along each edge uh, and plus along the lights and stuff and so that plastic is in there it's not going to just come randomly falling out uh, or move around too much I can shake this up and the lights don't move around there's enough plastic in there to keep it solid uh, and then when I lift the top up there's no plastic in the top it just stays right at that level because of the super glue and stuff so and then I can turn it here and the super glue holds it to where the plastic doesn't fall down so it's all it's all in there it's all tight right in the middle it's perfect uh, then plug the battery in and boom you've got a tesseract I've seen so many people make YouTube videos of the tesseract being built uh, and it's so hard to do they, they do all these different steps this is the easiest tesseract you'll ever make in your life If you want to make a tesseract I, su I suggest doing this it's just really cool to have a tesseract you know you're like Loki I keep holding it like this because Loki does it in the Infinity Wars. So uh, I just think this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. It's so easy. I did it in a day. Both of these in a day. You know, printed this one off. It took it took about four hours to print this cube off here, uh, and then it took about six hours to print this off here. So uh, this one I did it first. It was super easy. Super glue. Um, dries really quick. I didn't have to smooth it down. I didn't use any type of smoothing agent or anything on it. Uh, you can still see the 3D lines. Let me see if I can get close enough to see the 3D lines. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But you can still see the 3D lines in it and stuff, but the, the LEDs, there's eight LEDs in here, are so bright that, that you can't really see any of the 3D lines anyways. Plus, with all the fog and, and detail and stuff around it, can't really see it at all. So, there it is, right there. One more quick close look for you guys, if you guys want to check that out. It's just cool to have this on your shelf, to say to have a tesseract. And I'm gonna make uh, probably something to hold this in place. Put it right there, and it makes it look so much better. Now if you notice I don't have any of my LEDs on on the shelf right now because I didn't want anything to take away from the Tesseract. I've got the LEDs on, the Star-Lord on, 
and the LEDs in the Stormbreaker on right now, but that's all I turned on just because I wanted you guys to, to really see this. All the lighting starts changing and the thing starts trying to focus in. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, as much as I enjoyed making it. There's no file to show you guys on Thingiverse. I guess I can leave the link to the original cube on Thingiverse, but I would go to Tinkercab if you're planning on making a Tesseract and do it the same way that I did because it's it's so much better to have a top and bottom. And sometimes you might need a box that needs a lid. You can make something like that. Uh, so this is kind of like a little bit of my own design. If somebody would like this exact box, I can make a file for you with this if you want it the exact same size. I've got the file saved. I can upload it to Thingiverse if that's something that you would like. And then I'd be an, an official person with a model on Thingiverse. That would be cool, right? <laughs> but uh, hopefully this holds you over until Darth Vader comes up. I apologize completely. I know I said that in several videos that I would have that done by this last Thursday. And I didn't get it done. But things happen. Um, and in the summertime, you never know if you're going to be just wiped out from being hot or, or whatever goes on. Uh, having a heat stroke or something is, is literally one of the worst things that you can go through. I, I was just out of it for a few days, so it was just, it was brutal. We got us a swimming pool set up though, so now I can cool down any time that I want to, and it's amazing, and I hope it doesn't take my time away from these uh, 3D prints, but I'm going in to do some finishing parts of the Darth Vader helmet. That's why you don't see it on my shelf. You see the the red hood with the face hugger wrapped around him which I'll be showing you guys the face hugger too this brand new model first model that I built with the uh, anti-cubic back up and running uh, I'm working on the fix it video for the anti-cubic keep looking out for that that'll be up in the next few days there's so much information to give you guys with that because uh, if somebody goes to the same trouble let me tell you guys this you know how I told you guys in a video that my ultra base on the anti-cubic stopped working within a couple weeks of having the anti-cubic my ultra base works perfect again i don't all because of a power supply my my everything's working perfectly so i must have had a bad power supply the entire time uh, that i own this anti-cubic and anti-cubic customer service was amazing i'm not going to stop talking about how good they were and i'm so glad that i have an anti-cubic it makes me so happy owning an anti-cubic especially when they have such good customer service. I was a huge DJI fan, you guys know, because I put out tons of DJI Phantom 3 standard videos when the Phantom 3 standard was big. I put out just about every Phantom 3 standard video you can think of, but I stopped investing so much money into DJI drones because their customer service sucks. That's a huge deal with me when it comes to companies and products. If your customer service sucks, then you're treating the people who are buying your product badly and you're, you know, you don't deserve to have customers as far as I'm concerned. If you buy a really expensive one within the thousands of dollars, I heard their customer service is really good, but the people who have to buy the cheaper drones and stuff, it seems like they just don't want to pay attention to those people. And, you know, if they're only treating customers good because they spend more money and treating other customers poorly because they don't spend as much money, then to me, that is, that's uncalled for. Anyways, my name is Bryson Michael RC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Next Thursday I'll try to get that Darth Vader done. If I can't get the Darth Vader done by then, I'm telling you guys, this has been, this is like a bad luck model. Everything that will, I had it completely 100% done and then I had a small little something happen to it, a small little fix it that I had to fix a little portion of it and then it all went to hell and I had to basically restart the whole painting process all over again. It, it sucked, it sucked, it sucked. That thing, I, I, Oh my, I can't, I'll tell y'all about it whenever, whenever I do the video. Uh, hit that notification button. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you guys want to. See you guys later. You have a good one.